Do you get a sense in that video of the passion and determination of the students who come to Loyola? Their drive to advance themselves in life in order that they can lift others. These young people talk at great length and with passion about doing for others and about how they can use their education to help and inspire their families and their communities. These are the kinds of students Loyola attracts. It is incumbent on us to create and sustain opportunities for them in order for them to take their gifts, their expertise, their passion, and their compassion into the world. Now, we will hear from one of our students with us this evening directly. You may already know or recognize Lucas Williamson as a student athlete and a member of the men's basketball team. He played in all 38 games last year as a freshman during the Ramblers' historic Final Four run. He is an amazing, remarkable student athlete and definitely a remarkable young man. Please welcome Lucas Williamson. Thank you, thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Lucas Williamson, and I'm a sophomore here at Loyola. This past summer, I took an American history class and learned about different periods of history when, peoples of, when groups of people were fighting for progress. The first civil rights movement in the late 1800s after the abolition of slavery, the women's suffrage movement, and the civil rights movement in the 60s all saw groups of people fighting for access to better education. I realized that that was because education is so powerful. It is how people form relationships and create connections that can open new doors for life-changing opportunities. The people in those movements realized that education was an investment in the future of their communities, and they saw it as a key to opening doors and making progress. I grew up here in Chicago. I started playing basketball at a very young age, but no matter how crazy basketball got, I never wanted to get behind in the classroom. There were nights where I was so tired from traveling and games that it would be easy to just not do my work and just rest. But my mother would always tell me, <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> My mother would always tell me, Lucas, you are a student athlete. That means you are a student first and an athlete second. I wouldn't truly understand what she meant until I made the decision to go to Whitney Young High School. I wanted to go to Whitney Young because I wanted to challenge myself both academically and athletically, and the school offered the best of both worlds. So when it came time for me to decide what college I wanted to go to, those same principles applied. When Coach Moser reached out to me and told me about a little school called Loyola University Chicago <laughs> that would continue to challenge me, I took the opportunity. My freshman year at Loyola was the most pivotal year in my life so far. And no, it's not because we just made it to the Final Four. <laughs> it was the most important year of my life because of you, the Loyola community. I could have never imagined I would have learned so much in such a short period of time. I've never been so interested and invested in the things that I'm learning in school. For example, having the opportunity to pursue a minor in Spanish to become bilingual, or having the, experience to, having the opportunity to, have to experience different classes I've never taken before, like sociology and philosophy. I never thought I'd meet so many people that want nothing more but my continued success. Getting a degree from Loyola means the world to me. 
I remember when I committed to Loyola, and not a lot of people at my high school knew of what, all of what we had to offer here. And I would explain to them that although Loyola might not be the biggest school, it might not be located in a college town, but it was the perfect school for me, and I could not wait to become a Rambler. I take pride in being a student here and representing Loyola on the court with my brothers. Representing the school and the city in the Final Four is something that I will never forget. It excites me whenever I hear stories of alumni who reconnected with old friends to cheer us on. So many of us have stories like that. Now, when people ask me what school I attend, I tell them with pride that I attend Loyola University Chicago. I want to thank everyone in this room for their investment in education and all those who have supported scholarships that have enabled me and so many other students to choose Loyola. Some of you may have already participated in a Rambler rally tonight and gotten the scarf that I forgot <laughs> at my seat. <laughs> but we have plenty more scarves. Please consider being a part of the Rambler rally by visiting the table on your way out. Once again, thank you for, thank you for your support and thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>